Welcome to Tactical Tuesday on Business Agility Now, the podcast powered by Scaled Agile. I'm your host, Adam Mattis. Every Tuesday, I'll share a quick, easy to implement tip to help make your time at work a little bit better. Let's get started. Today's episode is brought to you by piplanning.io. Plan and execute your PI in a single tool. Bring people together in a real-time collaborative environment. Sync results to your existing ALM tool. Get a free trial at piplanning.io. Now back to the show. Hi, everyone. My name is Mahesh Bharadarajan. I lead the safe practice for Knowledge Hut in the Asia-Pacific region. Today, I'm here to share some of my uh, insights into uh, what many Agile teams and Agile release trains often have a problem in improving their uh, velocities, improving the efficiency in their product development flow. Um, and this is where, uh, you know, uh, many often than not, uh, when you look at the way the Agile teams do work, often in silos, uh, you know, there are 10 people in the team, each of them grab one uh, backlog each and start working on. And at the end of the iteration, you see that, you know, one third of the work got done and most of the other works, two thirds, spill over from one iteration to another. I think I'm going to just leave you with a couple of easy Quick tips, uh, thanks to the built-in quality practices suggested in SAFE. And uh, the key word that I'm going to leave upon you is uh, bank upon swarming. Uh, You know, let's work together as a group rather than working individually in silos. I think we can together get more things done by swarming. And uh, there are swarming, we do all swarming all the time, be it PI planning, iteration planning and so on. But let's talk about Uh, swarming during execution. Two tips. One is a classical pair programming practice. Two people, um, pair of devs, collaborate on one backlog at a time, get it done and then move on to the next. Likewise, you can do a practice called mob programming. Maybe not more than five people, maybe groups of five, uh, collaborate on one backlog, get stuff done and then move on to the next. I think there needs to be some ground rules when you implement these practices. Uh, You know, set aside some working agreements, uh, you know, no emails, no chats. We do focused pairing or mobbing for an hour or two and then get those things done. And it eliminates, believe it or not, code reviews, handoffs uh, and many a times, uh, you know, the challenges of, uh, you know, the delays that surround your process. And I've seen agile teams which swarm, enjoy the work they do, they have fun and they get more things done, satisfy the customer, less rework and stuff like that. So if you're really concerned about, uh, you know, reducing your flow time, improving your efficiencies, you've got to be talking with your teams on how to be swarming and how to achieve high velocities over a period of time. Have fun with swarming. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you like what you hear, please refer us to your friends and colleagues and subscribe to the show wherever you get your podcasts. I'm your host, Adam Mattis. See you next time.